Hello, hello my friends, and welcome back to City Skylines 2, and welcome back to Circle City 3, and welcome back to the re... What's the word that I'm looking for? The adjustment of Circle City's core. Or de-densification, perhaps? Now, I don't remember de-densifying it to the point that no buildings were there. I think those are low density or medium density and they're just not coming in yet. So one of the things that we really need to fix is this lack of labor, which is a lack of poorly educated. That's a little bit of lack of everything. It's a lack of everything. So there you go. That's what that is. The efficiency is fine, though. Just not enough employees. That is an issue, but it doesn't seem to be the worst issue in the world. But yeah, the, we do have 100,000 jobs and only 67,000 people are working. And I believe that those are... Yeah, since we're sitting at about 100,000, we're looking at about 66,000 are working adults and the rest are children, teenagers, and seniors. So we do need to just get more adults, more working adults into the city. I almost want to change this a little bit. And yes, it's going to be a little bit of a tax break for everybody here, which is great because we're making money anyway. I'm not quite ready to say zero taxes on residential, but it's soon. We make more money off of exporting our energy than we do on taxes, I think. No, we don't. <laughs> that is a bold face lie. Okay, so let's see. What can we do to fix some of this? First of all, that is a loud nuclear power plant. But I think we need to change this into a into a real road that isn't just a one-way road. I think... Oh, I don't have my Mio mods. Where are my Mio mods? Where's my traffic mod? I'm missing a bunch of mods. Stand by. This isn't okay with me. In fact, we might have to reload this save anyway. Hello. Oh, okay, we've done a time warp. Welcome back to City Skylines 2. I'm just going to leave all that in. Don't really have to welcome you back again, but welcome back regardless to City Skylines 2, and welcome back to S Circle City 3, and welcome back to trying to fix the traffic issues. Where's that power plant? It should be the biggest thing in the city. There it is. I was going to change this road into a four-lane road, and then I realized I didn't have the tool available for whatever reason. I really couldn't tell you what happened there. Let's just change all this into this road. Putting lanes in everywhere. There we go. Traffic can move both ways. I think that's actually going to help with the flow quite a bit. And then I'm going to have to go in, probably reset these to vanilla, and then remove the unsafe turns. The mod data has been loaded with errors. Show data loading results. Where's the issue? The following one nodes. Oh, that's okay. You can ignore that. That is a roundabout. Does it even need to be a roundabout? Probably. I wonder, why does the highway come here and then just stop? Why did we do that? Oh, is this where the city originally started, maybe? Yeah, anyway, we gotta fix this mess. I think it's this roundabout that is the problem. How do I go about fixing this, and this highway, and this roundabout? Hmm. Okay, I think it's time to get rid of these roundabouts. These ones, at least. Now, I'm not gonna leave this, or am I? Hmm. Interesting. What happens if we leave these, and we just put in some interesting traffic logic? Okay, this one structure's displeased with whatever I've done. It just shouldn't be there if you aren't connected to the road. You're connected to a highway only. Does this even need to be here? What if we get rid of this? And we just leave this little mucky mess over here? <laughs> I don't understand why this is so bad. What if we just get rid of... Where's the problem here? If we do that... And what if we change this? That is so loud, by the way. I put the camera over on this side. No, that doesn't help. The, the power plant is loud regardless of where we're... Now there's a helicopter. It doesn't matter where we are. Strangely, this isn't the bottleneck. In fact, I don't really see any traffic. Oh, there's traffic jams now. I was going to say, I don't see any traffic jams. Uh, what if we go to regular split phasing? I do want to turn back on day-night visuals, because we haven't seen Circle City at night in a while. And it's day, that's fine. We'll let, we'll let it be day for now. But I think we're going to let it become night for a little bit here. Maybe for a few videos, for a few cities. We'll see how that looks. If it gets annoying for me, <laughs> I will, I'll will switch back on day. Yeah, I think I can make this better. What is the big issue here? What 
what I might do. Bear with me, this might make sense. And I get that up in a reasonable amount of time. And then back down. <laughs> yes. Surprisingly. Now this one might not have enough room to go up and then back down. Oh, never mind. I was wrong. It does seem like an odd slope, but apparently it's okay. Now, that should get the trap. I don't have... Yeah, I didn't have anarchy on, so it's not like we cheated that. Is that just moving the problem further down the line? Yeah, this... I've always hated this. Okay, let me think about this one. Really? This ramp here is not allowed? Okay, we'll fix this real quick. By fix this, I mean... Don't worry, we'll make this hideous. I mean, at that point, this road isn't even necessary. The only thing I might want to do is to have a little one. What does show the markers do? Show and hide the markers. Oh, it shows... the markers for things. Oh, it shows hidden invisible roads and... okay, that's annoying. So what I'm going to do here is just have that as a little ramp where we can get off the highway. And then here, don't know what I'm going to do with this. Actually, yes, I do. I'm going to basically the same thing. Let's not do it. No, cross. Yeah, we'll do it like that. Get rid of the traffic light. Get rid of the walkway. Crosswalks, that is. This should probably be three lanes for a little bit. Now this traffic is still backing up here. What's going on? These middle lanes are completely unused. Yeah, again, this is an example of thinking we were clever. And by we, I mean I was thinking I was clever. And the reality is, is that this just needs to be... The best way for traffic to flow is for it to be able to flow in both directions. I mean, for the most part, I might leave this one here as a one-way, just because... It comes into this absolute... Another roundabout disaster where we thought we were being cute <laughs> by putting in... The roundabout. But it wasn't cute. It was a disaster. Why is this on-ramp so slow? Why is it only 55? Is the Mio one faster? It's fire and overlay. Fire and rescue overlay is going to make me lose my mind at some point. No, that one's 55. Maybe the default one isn't? How fast is this one? It's also 55. There's no difference. <laughs> Whatever. Oh my gosh, we have more traffic here. Is this the problem intersection? This one, we might just need to fix the rules and the traffic here. Let's go advanced split phasing. Maybe that'll move things through a little bit quicker. I don't know. This isn't solving anything, though. <laughs> we still have the issue of not enough labor. Lack of high skill labor. Can we go through? Is there any more high density commercial that doesn't need to be high density? Yes. My thinking here is we reduce the amount of jobs available over here while still meeting some demand. For commercial and business but that gives people an opportunity to go find new jobs does it make sense who knows maybe might reduce some traffic too if there's less jobs available here especially in instances where these businesses are saying that there's not enough customers maybe your business is just too big for the area you just can't sustain what's here, or it can't sustain you, more specifically. Oh man, I haven't seen the sunset in Circle City in a while. Look at this, this thing lights up. Who would have even known this observation tower has a light on it? I'm sure we've seen it before, but it's been a while. I kind of like this evening look. Population's still going up, which means... Something good is happening. You know what? Ooh, hello. The one-stop station, the large gas station and rest stop for motorists. I want to put this somewhere cool. I'm not, I don't think I've ever unlocked this before. This should go, like, somewhere out in the middle of nowhere. Like, out here. <laughs> Why not? Bumber fuel. Sure. 
I love it. I love bumper fuel. How much is gas? Unknown. Prices are not set. Oh, it increases well-being in the immediate in the immediate area. So we might want to put some houses. We might want to expand some of this network over here. This is the walking area, but we might want there one there. Look how long these shadows get. You love to see it. It's beautiful. Now, you forget what this game looks like with the day-night cycle when you've had it off for so long. But I like it. I think it looks good. Even if it's harder to see at night, I think it looks good. Wow, my frame rate is really suffering. Is that because I don't close anything on my computer when I'm not using it? The answer to that is, of course, yes. Probably don't need all the editing software running while I'm playing the game. Turn some of that off. Uh-oh. Okay, it's fine. That's done nothing, really. I wonder how I can improve the flow of traffic here. Deleting the roundabout is the obvious answer. Oh man, it's night in Circle City. When is the last time we saw this? It looks good. I think it looks better with this slightly thinned out downtown, and I think there's still a little bit more thinning to do here. Because I think there's still... Yeah, like half the population lives in this little circle. And it shouldn't. Maybe it should. But I think I want to do a little bit of thinning out here. Oh, we do still have some medium... Is this medium density? I don't know what that was. Maybe low rent? I don't know, I'm rezoning it now, and it's... Buildings are appearing, so... Who knows what that was. I'm just going through in every few tall buildings. Just swapping them out, rezoning. Yeah, like right there. Anywhere things feel a little bit too tall. Some of these offices that we have that are high density offices, we might want to swap some of them out for low density variations. Again, just to play with the skyline a little bit here. Yeah, that looks a lot better now that it doesn't look like a walled city. Well, I'm inside of a building. Let me get out of there. All right, so I need to navigate by just look and feel here. Where am I? <laughs> Immediately I hit like a dead end little alley road and I don't know what it is. Where am I actually? Oh, we're very close to the core. Yeah, these are one, this is one of the parking lots, I think. One of our custom parking lots that we made. It's curved. So then the core is just over here. And it must be winter because people are wearing coats. I can't wait for mods that add. I don't know, everything. I want people to be wearing trucks of t shirts <laughs> in the summer. <laughs> That'd be fun. We don't have, they, they don't exist. But can you imagine if instead of actually having real merch, we just invent <laughs> a t shirt that, that the guys in the game can wear? All these little dudes. Look at this. It still feels downtown. It still feels busy. I love the way that this intersection is lit with one big lamppost on each corner here. It's busy for this time of day too. Like what time is it? It's 9 p.m. ish, almost 10. Yeah, this is fine for looking at the city. We might even put another tourist destination somewhere downtown, maybe along the park, on the side of the park or something like that. Let's take a look and see what we have options for here. No, we've placed all the tourist attractions. They are all somewhat downtown. But as far as landmarks go, the National Diet Building? Oh my gosh, this thing is monstrously huge. We'd have to get rid of way too much. You know what? We have enough landmarks downtown. All right, let's turn back on Perma Day. Oh gosh, blinding. It's so blinding. Can I just learn how to use the computer? There we go. Okay, speed things back up. It's currently fall, which is why all the colors are yellow. All right, again, more issues with not enough customers. These are high density commercial buildings. I do think this is the solution, is to just replace it with low density commercial. Now you don't need as many customers to stay afloat. 
And if people start complaining that they can't get their commercial goods, then we'll, then we'll think about what to do. But I don't think they will, because I think they're all going to go and they're going to go start new jobs in the industrial area or whatever. Because these things here are probably just sucking up jobs. Yeah, we've cut down jobs quite a bit that are... We've got a lot of unemployed people, they probably just haven't found new jobs yet. Now the other thing that we could do is maybe look at transit and see if we can move people into the downtown a little bit, or into the industrial area a little bit better. We still have a lot of taxis coming in from outside of the city, and I wonder if maybe just setting up a bus route that connects to the outside would solve that. Or a train route? Do we have passenger trains? We don't even have a passenger train network, period. But maybe we should. Because there's rail that goes out, right? Yeah, there's rail that goes out. So we could bring people in, like here. We can even set this up as a bit of a park and ride. Are those the clouds just zipping by? Oh, yes. I must have clouds cast shadows on. <laughs> which might explain why my FPS is so poor. Oh, don't want to straight. Let me fix that real quick. I'm going to curve that little rail a little bit. Oh, it's like a forbidden bridge over here, so the rail system doesn't like it, and I don't want to have to deal with anarchy quite yet. Oh, that's way too close to this other structure. In fact, we can connect this. In fact, I think we need to. It should be fine, honestly, for me to be to say, let's get a passenger line that goes from here, leaves the city, comes back, and then maybe another one leaves the city over here. Comes back. You know, keeping it simple. Where'd my station go? <laughs> and then maybe one here. That leaves the city... I don't think we have any other rail connections. That's fine then. <laughs> just, just two. So we'll see if that does anything. Passengers waiting, zero. Is that for both lines? Now the passengers might be waiting outside of the city to get in. And so we might not actually see anybody until a train is left and returned. But we'll see. Some people might choose to park. There's already two parked vehicles here for some reason. And we should probably change this to low-density commercial like we've been talking about. You do see a lot less businesses complaining about not having enough customers when they're not big. Big buildings. Alright, unemployment's actually getting worse. This company says it lacks high-skill labor, but everybody works there. I don't understand. There's no open positions. These are outdated. Outdated data. Oh, hello. What's going on here? Whoa, hello, this is not what I wanted. You can't just do that. You can't just cross over through traffic. No U-turns, stop that. I just watched somebody jaywalk. I didn't even know they could do that. Yeah, there's a lot of businesses there. I forgot that we were making another little high-density area. Also, I didn't even use that train to do what I said I was going to do, which was to move people into the industrial area for work. Oh, why do they all go this way? Not that I care. It's just interesting. Oh, I see why. Oh, it's because I connected the wrong one here. Let's fix that. Oh, that's cool. That train just fell to pieces. Look what I've done. I'm an absolute menace. Oh, it's actually... Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. It's fine. So now it probably doesn't need to... Yeah, it doesn't need to go back and zigzag around. That's good. So we've got some passengers on these trains. That's fine. What about this one? 20, 24, sure. A few people are moving on it. It's not really a lot, but it's better than nothing. And then this is probably an instance of... Do we put one or two big homes here? A couple big homes to spread things out. Put some here. They're not great because they're not going to have any services available to them. But we're starting to spread things out a little bit. And that's really the key here. Again, hopefully I'm not going overboard with removing high density business. I just think it causes more trouble than anything else. See, a lot of these businesses, these are old notifications because they're, they're full now. There is no lack of high skill labor. Everybody here has the education level that they want. So it's probably just a matter of waiting this out. There's a lot less than there used to be, so I think this is a good solution. 
and the unemployment metric that we see when we look at our population chart here. That might just be people that haven't moved to their new job yet, so they're like between jobs because they're traveling. <laughs> you can see that we spread out our population density a little bit though, so there's like some chunks in different spaces now. It's not all core downtown people, although there's still probably a lot downtown. Yeah, 44,000. I mean, it's still sitting at like half. I don't know. We can reduce it. I do not dislike the current density, but I don't think I would be against maybe getting rid of the occasional large structures here. I don't think it hurts the aesthetic. I think it helps to have more medium density and let some of the high density structures be spread out a little bit more. I think they just look more impressive when there's less of them. I say that, but what I really mean is until there's enough variation from custom assets, for example, because then every building will look a little bit different instead of there's one, there's these two buildings here with these little orange corners. They're identical. But what other ones? These two are identical. These two are identical. Actually, these four are identical. They're just three colors, palette swaps. And honestly, if we weren't, if we weren't on a circle, we were on a square grid, these would stand out way more, but because of the way that, that we're looking at a rotate, a slight rotation of each of these buildings, you can't really tell that this building here and this building here are the same. Well, you can, but <laughs> it's less obvious to me at a glance. And then all these are the same. These all look terrible, though. I hate these buildings. <laughs> they look great in that they look like real buildings. I hate how these buildings look in reality. <laughs> I think they look awful, but maybe that's just me. That's just my opinion. So are you guys lying about the labor issues? Yes. That's good. Good problem. Lying industry. How is citizen happiness? What are we upset about? Traffic minus one. I don't really care about that. As far as money goes, we're making still tons. Yeah, we get paid to use these Mio roads, and I don't know if that's a bug. If I crank the budget, can I turn... Does that make me spend more on maintenance and resources? Because I feel like it's a little imbalanced otherwise. No, we just make more money. What if I turn down the budget to 50%? I'm worried that by doing that, it's going to make it so that we're not repairing the roads as often. I don't know. We'll come back and look at that someday in the future. Not right now. Yeah, this little area might end up a little bit too dense. In fact, people are moving out because small homes. So I might even change some of these. Maybe this is too dense. Maybe go a little bit more medium density down here. Maybe even some of this mixed housing. Always forget about it. I think it looks cool though. Now what is this? Why do we have traffic here? Ah, uh, yes, I see. This is just a little area with 10,000 people just living kind of crammed into this little triangle. In fact, I don't quite like the shape of it. I feel like, can we do this? It doesn't like that. There we go. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Yeah, that's better. I rent. It's not really. 106,000. You know what? We're doing good. I bet if we really wanted to, we could start leveling that up a little bit. That'll look nice. Oh, we got a pollution problem over here. That's easy to fix. I think this building, what is this, switch on? It makes a little bit of air pollution for some reason, even though it's supposed to be like a networking building. Uh, we can just turn these into stores. Yeah, they make electronics, so... It's odd that they have any significant air pollution, but, you know. Oh, Prince of Peace. I can't believe we hadn't unlocked that here yet. There we go. This counts as a police station, I think, or it does something with crime. In fact, I might even move it closer to this little core area. In fact, right there. Yeah, it reduces crime and increases well-being. And we also have some, looks like high-density commercial in here having some issues with customers. So again, we know that this is an issue. Oh, maybe those aren't, maybe those are the mixed buildings. No, they weren't, they were high density commercial. So we'll see, maybe that'll help. 
I do think that we need to create more industrial jobs. Sure, that'll help a little bit. This one's underwater, apparently. <laughs> it's a little wet. It's still good. And our landfill is processing everything that comes in, which is borderline a miracle. But I won't complain. It looks like this is starting to be a problem, but there's a lot of people that move on foot. Which is great to see. Maybe this needs actually an exclusive pedestrian phase. There's a lot of people crossing here. It does seem to be a problem, though. People aren't making this turn. I think. Let's do that. That might help. This guy hasn't even been waiting that long. He's complaining about a traffic jam. Wants the whole road complaining. I think this will clear out. I think it's just people moving in or moving out or moving around. Oh, it's winter. I just noticed things were getting a little white. A little light mode. Oh yeah, look at the roofs of the building fill in. There we go. It's winter in Circle City once again. Although it's still fall. So this might clear up. I don't think this intersection is a problem. I think this is going to resolve itself soon once the people finish moving in or out or wherever they're going i think we made good progress today on circle city and i think that means it's a good time to take a break here it's looking good if you're enjoying this go ahead and hit that thumbs up button leave a like on this video leave a comment let me know what you think about circle city and the changes that we've been making and of course if you enjoy this kind of city building content hit that subscribe button turn on the bell for notifications so you can find out whenever new videos get posted they're pretty frequent so if you like this content and you want to see it often pretty much daily <laughs> i think is about where i've managed to land but we'll see anyway thank you so much for joining me and hanging out in circle city i hope we see you back around again sometime soon thank you for watching goodbye for now